seven trumpets will mark the judgment of the living on earth, four devastations and three woes. These are seven redemptive judgments to plague earth while salvation is still possible before the close of mercy. Consider the importance of the Day of Atonement in the wilderness in Leviticus 16. It was the most important day in the Jewish year for the tenth day in the seventh month marked the close of Israel's judgment for that year. Likewise, a parallel is drawn for the final generation in Revelation as the fourth seal is opened and the first trumpet sounds. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. The first angel sounded his trumpet and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet, and something like a huge mountain all ablaze was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turned into blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The magnitude of this impact will also send waves roaring into the coastlines, massively affecting coastal cities, possibly wiping them off the map. The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star, blazing like a torch, fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter, and many people died from drinking the waters that had turned bitter. The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them turned dark. A third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night. The disaster caused by the first three trumpets will disrupt the Earth's surface and will cause volcanic action on a level so great, smoke and debris will cause a blockout of much of the natural light from the sun. As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying in midair call out in a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the Earth because of the trumpet blast about to be sounded by the other three angels. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to the Earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke, locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth, or any green thing, or any tree, but only those men who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. At the fifth trumpet, Lucifer and his angels are released from the abyss, torturing those who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They will physically appear for all to see. He will come as an angel of light, masquerading as Almighty God, mocking the second coming and placing himself as God, deceiving even the elect if that were possible. Many will marvel and believe the lie. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie. Lucifer is allowed to exercise his power for 42 months. The crisis government that will form shortly after the first trumpets is the beginning of the beast system in Revelation 13 that will become the only economically viable system globally to function in the current state of the world during those days. At this time, the world will be in ruin and the necessities of life will become scarce in a very short time period. Lucifer will head this government upon his appearing, but the foundation has been laid and the stage set for the events to follow. He will implement a mark, a pledge of allegiance for all those who wish to buy or sell and live sustainably for what short time they have left. This is the mark of the beast. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. If anyone worships the beast and its image, and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar that is before God. 
and said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who were bound at the great river Euphrates, and the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of the mounted troops was twice ten thousand times ten thousand. I heard the number. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated at their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and a severe hailstorm. Jesus breaks the fourth seal and initiates great tribulation upon the world by the sounding of the trumpets. These warning judgments fall in response to our unrestrained evil, decadence, and hardness of heart. Why has the Lord decreed such a great disaster against us? What wrong have we done? What sin have we committed against the Lord our God? Like cages full of birds, their houses are full of deceit. They have become rich and powerful and have grown fat and sleek. 